Yeah, well, I'm, you know, I'm one of these people, you, you know, the, uh, every economist is supposed to, uh, is supposed to think that uh, help to buy is a complete disaster. You know, we shouldn't, uh, we shouldn't do anything there. I think it's, it's important as to, um, and I, I don't, you know, I, th I think what, I think what, what help to buy was, was intended to do and what it is doing is to, um, is to restore what was a, f a failure within the mortgage market. And the failure within the mortgage market was that, uh, you know, on the eve of the crisis in 2007, first half of 2007, between 60 and 70% of new mortgages were coming from wholesale sources. So they're coming from securitization or from wholesale markets directly. And only around about a third were coming from the tradi traditional route, which is you know, people save in banks or building societies, that money is used to lend to, uh, to home buyers. So you know, an important source, the, the, the overwhelming source of mortgage supply was cut off. And the response to that was that the, the lenders were able to, or you know, they, they, they were able to ration, and they rationed by big deposit, you know. So first-time buyers typically then needed a 25% deposit to get, the, to get the best rates. Now, that is clearly, you know, not a, a tenable long-term position. You know, most people would struggle while paying rent to get that kind of deposit together. You know, everybody would struggle to get that, that kind of deposit together. So something was needed, and I think help to buy was a, quite an imaginative response to that. It's important to distinguish between the two schemes. You know, help to buy one is the equity loan for, for new uh, home purchase. And, you know, people have said, well, all, you know, all this will just go into prices rather than activity. There's no doubt that Help to Buy One has boosted house building activity and is boosting it quite significantly. So if you look at house building now, is running, you know, 20, 25% up on year ago levels. And I think we'll build in strength over time, along with one or two of the other things. Help to Buy Two, which is the scheme for uh, existing homes, you know, second-hand homes, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the, the, the main part of the housing market, I think has a limited life. And I, I, don't think that will, that, I don't think that will be extended in the same way that Help to Buy One has been extended to, to the end of the decade. So I, think that will, I don't think that will last beyond 2016. And by that time, you would hope that the mortgage market will have been repaired sufficiently so that you've moved down from those very high deposits in the, in the market for second-hand homes. But uh, the, the reason for extending help to buy one was that the builders were saying that um, if this scheme ends in 2016, there's no point in us buying new sites and developing new sites now uh, because we face this sudden cutoff in demand in, to, in 2016. So very much focused on the new market. And I, I, I have no quarrel with that at all. I think it's, uh, you know, House building is, is a, you know, a tried and trusted route out of economic difficulty. House building gave us the recovery in the 1930s. You know, the, you know, we don't call them three-bed semis by accident. You know, 1930s semis by accident. Many were built in the 1930s. And, uh, and the same thing is needed again. And there is clear uh, need for more new housing. You know, we're, we're, we're still only building you know, less than half of the new house, houses we need every year. So anything that boosts that, I think, is, is quite welcome. So, uh, so I approve of that, yeah. yeah.